Well, it's time now for our special campaign, Save Our Hills. It's over to Radhika, who reports from Leh. One of the most evident effects of global warming is glacier melting, which has begun in such a way that the water doesn't really reach the only source of water doesn't really reach the 112 villages. So what is the solution? We meet the artificial glacier man, the award winner, Shevan Norfel, who has a solution which has not just changed lives, but has also saved livelihoods. Growing vegetables in a desert is an art these Ladakhi women have learned recently. From potatoes to carrots to cabbage and even barley and wheat, these are some of the crops the farmer women here grow in Leh during summers while their husbands are away entertaining tourists. The high altitude desert has some simple solutions to complicated issues such as global warming and glacier melt. <laughs> तो हम क्या कहते हैं गर्मी में पूरा इसको खुला रखते हैं अगर इसको थोड़ा बंद हो जाएगा तो ये फ्रीज हो जाएगा तो ये पाइप ब्रश हो जाएगा अब इसे क्या होता 24 घंटा उसमें थोड़ा पानी आते रहते हैं कंटीन्यूअसली आते रहते हैं उसे हमारे जूही वहां वहां पानी वो नाल से बाहर निकल के जाते हैं नीचे एक छोटा सा गार्डन है उसमें पानी जाता है जब वहां गार्डन पहुंचा वहां क्योंकि वो दरा के वजह वो साया है वो उस साया के वजह से पानी बिल्कुल एकदम जाके ये दो तीन मेनो में ये गर्मी के तीन चार मेनो में एक वहां छोटा सा एक ग्लेशियर का एक छोटा सा पुल बन जाता है दिस 77 ईयर ओल्ड एनवायरमेंटलिस्ट इज द ऑफिशियल आर्टिफिशियल ग्लेशियर मैन when several villages in the lower altitude areas of Leh suffered dryness due to glacier melting away fast, Shavang Norfolk decided to divert the flowing melted glacier water to store them in mini reservoirs. This would in turn create artificial glaciers which melted slowly in lower altitude during summers. The region experiences harsh winters and during summer the temperature sometimes dips up to minus 30 degrees. Snow, which solidifies as glaciers melting gradually, is the only source of water for irrigation in several villages. This is one of the most beautiful points I have seen outside of Leh in Ladakh. We're headed to the Pangaso Lake, the very famous lake. We're about 70 kilometers away. But why we stopped here is to show you through the stream is where the source of water reaches about 110 villages in Leh, in Ladakh. Now, this is glacier and this is the natural way it melts and this is the only source of water for vegetation for about 112 villages which are in Leh district. But out of the 112, only 38 to 45 of them receive this kind of natural source of water for vegetation. The rest of them are forced to depend on artificial ways, which is why artificial glacier has proved a survivor, which not just saves lives, but also livelihood. Norfolk has trained over 50 villages in Leh and also some around Himachal Pradesh's Shimla, which is also suffering the impacts of global warming, leading to glacier melting from the peak of hills. Artificial glaciers seem to be a short-term solution to help villagers grow at least one crop a year. Leh today produces an exotic range of vegetables, many of them organic. In Leh, with Nazir Sheikh, Radhika Ayer, NDTV. Well, a remarkable change indeed by one man who now has a huge army in the civilian group itself, which continues to engineer these artificial glaciers, which save lives and livelihoods of people in the 112 villages in Leh, in Ladakh district. Our journey moves on on NDTV Toyota's Save the Hills campaign. You keep tracking us same time every morning. Until then, it's back to the studio. India's number one news app just got even better. Download NDTV's new app. Fully optimized for retina display. Full screen view, faster response time, and Sudoku. 
NDTV's new iPad app. Download now.